this morning we are going to the beach well we are here so we have to at least go to the beach one time and uh, this is the access to the beach here comes the hotel shuttle but we're not taking the shuttle since it's like a less than five minute walk so uh, yeah we come to Moine for a whole of two nights three days two nights so we gotta at least hang out at the beach for a little bit to say that we've been here wow nice bamboo and uh, sun is high though it's only nine o'clock but you can feel the heat so it'll be it'll be a scorching day and uh, at the beach we'll probably hang out for a little bit just to say that we've been there get wet and here's our gang all right we are at the beach tide is low and we got coconut here and uh, it's a pretty nice beach pretty big and the sand looks fine it's not trashy so that's always a good thing and uh, for little kids there's this little stream you can have a have fun just sitting in there there's some jet skis but uh, there's no way I'm getting on that thing on that looks nice time to get our feet wet ah so you can get like a kite lesson surf lesson this is Mune Bay Kite School so you can uh, ah I see so in the afternoon I guess you can come here and take some lessons so you can be one of those cool folks but we're not doing this <laughs> we are gonna get our feet wet back at the swimming pool for a last minute dip before we call it a trip well we're gonna get out and then uh, you know after swimming pool dip take a break and then we're gonna go get lunch at the market and then it's time to head back all good things must come to an end it's 11 30 in the app well no in the morning <laughs> it's 11 30 in the morning and wind is beginning to pick up and it seems like this kite surfers or sails or whatever they are they know the time and they are ready to move so now there's a lot of them out there not sure exactly what you call that wind surfers they're not exactly wind surfers parasail they're not exactly parasail kite surfer not sure but uh, is uh, that's a bunch of them out there now in the afternoon the wind will pick up more and there will be more of them out there in fact the whole place will be infested with them so uh, it's pretty interesting uh, I guess they know that wind picks up I think uh, afternoon would be the best time when we first arrived this place was like there's like hundred at least a hundred if not more of them out there uh, we are getting ready to check out another 15 minutes and then what we're going to do is probably head over to the market and uh, probably grab lunch and then see what else there is and, and then head on back it's been fun the last few days but uh, I guess we gotta head back hopefully there won't be too much traffic today 
Alrighty, we are getting ready to go checking out. Here is our here are our wheels here and you can see. Ah so, oops. Mokkong Kong Pai. Alright, we are ready to go. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Heading to Fan Tit Market. So we are coming to Fan Tit Central Market to check it out and grab lunch and just tour, I guess. You can see the uh, pretty yellow flowers. This is a bike shop. And this is a little guy's bike shop. And you can see the busy mar market ahead. Okay. All right. Check it out. Tamarines, dry fish, cuttlefish, jaka, and uh, all kind of dried uh, seafood, I think. Vegetables everywhere, of course, but mostly it's about the dried seafood, I believe. And Nook Mum. Fan Kit is famous for Nook Mum. Uh, Food Quark is number one, Fan Tit is number two. Alright, behind the scenes. This is going to be the fast pace, fast and furious. All kind of smell going on. Eggs, uh, thousand year old egg, banchang, all kind of banchang. Lapsiong uh, Tomato for 10k I assume it's a kilo which equates to 40 cents per kilogram or less than 20 cents a pound uh, This is the market proper I guess Lots of motorbike going back and forth It's traditional outside the on the exterior of the market gold shops gold shop jewelry shops hmm that's interesting isn't it even in frontier gold shop adorn the outside of the market Now lots of tourists come here obviously, look, tourists, well they might be local tourists but they're obvious tourists because they dress so nice to come to the market, wow, and the food stalls are packed wall to wall with people, I don't think you can even find a seat if you want to, look at that, well you could find a seat, wow look at the trash on the floor, Amazing. And I was just pushed aside by one of the vendors because I'm in his way. This is Jay. Is he cleaning for you? Yes. So make 
sure we follow everybody. Eat on the fly, eat on the run. This is Jaka, famous in Pantit. That is Jaka. Somebody is doing a uh, chicken rice, doing good business. Wow. Well, it's going to be difficult to find a seat. We might have to buy something and then eat on in the in the car. Wow, I guess everybody has the same idea. Well, would you eat here? Not sure. But guess what? If you're here, you might as well do it. But, uh, Probably not going to be my favorite place to come, but since we're getting carry out, it's probably better. That's Pantit Central Market. Wow, even got motorbike coming through into the building. I guess everything goes. And Jay is doing a good business. Not exactly what no not exactly sure what she's doing. But she got a cigarette and a hat, maybe asking for money, not sure. But this lady is selling food. Boxes of uh, food. So, well, just standing in the entrance is interesting enough. Doing a really good business. Chicken rice. Super dragon fruit here at the circle. So you know what they are good. What's good here is the are uh, the dragon fruits that they grow. And here we are at the Lotte Mart. We want to go in and find a cool place to sit down and eat our chicken rice. Lotteria. All right, looks like a regular Lotte Mart, but uh, got a pretty, pretty big crowd. And we are going upstairs. Well, we had lunch here, uh, just sitting on the benches here. But uh, this is a super huge latte mart, got four floors or five floors instead of the two that we're used to in Wong Dao. Wow, look at the crowd going to the fifth floor. It's like, whoa, fantastic. So, and you can just, you know, grab food and then eat here. Got tables, got chairs, got people clean up after you. No problem. 
Well, it's almost two o'clock. We are heading back now. Uh, wow, it's a long way down because we were on the fourth floor. So uh, it will take us about three hours to get back to Ho Chi Minh City. Maybe halfway, maybe not. There was a huge detour and uh, we put us way behind. So we were supposed to get back in about two and a half hours. Now it's going to be more like four and a half. So uh, we are at the rest area, lots of people here. And, uh, but most things are closed today because probably because of the Lunar New Year. But uh, I guess this place is famous for the cow's milk bossu long tan. So lots of people stop by for ice cream and milk and all that kind of stuff. Wow. There it is. Boss Boss Long Tan. Long Tan. Rest area. We are back in our apartment in the lovely city center. There was a, a big detour on uh, the high, the expressway today, so it took us a lot longer, maybe an hour, an hour and a half longer to get back. But we got back, so that was good. Got to grab back here. We were dropped off uh, just across the canal here. So got back here, and we just had a quick, simple dinner. Now we are resting. We're not going to go out tonight. So this is the last picture you'll see. And, uh, that was a tense moment we had when uh, one of us thought we were missing a wallet. But eventually, after much searching, we found it. So that everybody gave a huge sigh of relief there. The van we had had a very weak air conditioning, so we were kind of warm, but uh, we survived. Everything was hunky-dory. We had a great time. Uh, everybody, you know, enjoyed the trip. I think uh, got along real well, and so that that was a great trip. And that's it. See ya tomorrow.